Hello friends, today we will discuss about the dangerous area of face. This is very commonly asked short note in your exam. So, first of all, we will check ki what are the areas of face, those are known as dangerous area. So, dangerous area of face includes the lower part of the nose, lower part of the nasal septum, it includes the upper lip, philtrum, adjoining part of the cheek. Means kya hua? Ki when you will see the front of your face, now on the front of the face, this is your nose and you have the upper lip and the lower lip. Now what is the dangerous area? Dangerous area of face includes this portion of the lower part of the nose, lower part of the nasal septum, this philtrum and upper lip with adjacent part of your cheek. Now this much of area is known as dangerous area of face. Clear? So, first of all, whenever you are having this question, ki dangerous area of face kya hota hai? First, you have to know about the area about which we are talking. Now, the second thing is, what is the cause? Why we are saying that it is a dangerous area? Now, the reason is that if there is a formation of boil or if due to the picking of nasal hair, if somebody will have the picking of nasal hair, there is a formation of boils that is a bacterial infection. In that case, the bacteria from this side will go intracranially, it will ascend in the retrograde fashion and that's why this area is known as dangerous area of face. Now, what is the root of infection? Dekhi, root of infection ko samajhna jaruri hai. Now, this root will explain that why the infection which is present in the lower part of the nose can ascend intracranially. So, when you will see this diagram, now in this diagram, you have to first understand the venous drainage. Venous drainage. Now, when you will see the venous drainage, if you remember the class of my face, I told you that there is a formation of W. So, yahan pe bhi hum us W ko check karenge. Now, how this W will form? Now, you have the two veins which are present here. This is the supratrochlear and supraorbital veins. Now, these two veins are joining together here and they are forming the angular vein. Now, this angular vein will run downward and this will form the facial vein. Now, this facial vein will reach here till the mandible and at the mandible, it is receiving the anterior part or anterior division of retromandibular vein and here it is forming the common facial vein. Hai? And this common facial vein will open into the internal jugular vein. Okay. Ab yahan pe, ye jo facial vein hai. Now when you will see this facial vein, this facial vein is draining this upper lip which is the dangerous area. It is draining the nose which is the lower part basically this is the dangerous area. Now here you can see that there is a deep connection. Now this is the deep connection which you are able to understand here. Now these deep connections are known as deep facial vein. Now with the help of these deep facial vein, there is a deep connection and you have a plexus that is known as pterygoid venous plexus which is visible here. Now from the pterygoid venous plexus, you have the emissary veins and these emissary veins are connecting the extracranial venous plexus to this intracranial dural venous sinus that is known as cavernous sinus. Clear? So root of infection kya hua? The root of infection is that, suppose there is an infection. Now this is the foci, this is the bacteria. Now this bacteria will go towards this facial vein through this upper labial or buccal vein. Then it will enter into this facial vein. Now from the facial vein, it will go to this deep connection that is known as deep facial vein. From the deep facial vein, it will reach to this venous plexus. Now from this venous plexus, it will ascend through the emissary vein and ultimately it will reach to this thrombus, uh, this uh, cavernous sinus. So now this is how you can see that there is a retrograde pathway through which the foci is ascending. Hai? So, here is area ko very important. Hai. So, what is the root which I told you? First, facial vein, 
then there is a deep connection of the facial vein with the venous plexus is known as deep facial vein then the infection will reach to the pterygoid venous plexus from the pterygoid venous plexus you have the connection with this cavernous sinus through the help of emissary veins and ultimately the infection will reach to the cavernous sinus the facial vein devoid of the valve now why this retrograde flow of the blood is possible because वहां पे वॉल्व नहीं होते सो बिकॉज द फेशियल वेन डिवाइड ऑफ द वॉल्व सो दैट द इन्फेक्शन फ्रॉम दीज एरिया ट्रेवल इन टू ए रिट्रो ग्रेड डायरेक्शन क्लियर सो ये जो पीछे की तरफ बैक फ्लो जा रहा है दिस इज पॉसिबल जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द लैक ऑफ वॉल्व अदरवाइज जनरली द ब्लड फ्लो विल गो डाउनवर्ड एंड देन इट विल कम इन टू द इंटरनल जुगुलर वेन क्लियर so ultimately because of this retrograde direction of the infection it will reach to the cavernous sinus and in the cavernous sinus it ultimately causes the thrombosis clear so in this diagram you can see again that yahan pe aap jab norma basalis padhte hain to us norma basalis mein aap dekhte hain kuch foramens ye jo foramens hai for example you have the foramen oval Now through these foramen you have the imagery vein like foramen lacerum. ये जो imagery veins हैं you can see that these imagery veins are going inside this cranial cavity through these foramens which are present on norma basalis. Clear? तो यहाँ पे आप देखिए ये क्या है This is your facial vein. Clear? ये facial vein deep connections हैं These are the deep connections. और ये जो डीप कनेक्शन है दीज आर नोन एज डीप फेशियल वेन और ये जो प्लक्सेज आप देख रहे हैं दिस प्लक्सेज इज नोन एज टेरिगॉइड वीनस प्लक्सेज सो वॉट विल हैपन दैट योअर इन्फेक्शन विच इज प्रेजेंट हेयर दीज आर द बैक्टीरियल फोकाय दे विल एंटर इन टू द वीनस ब्लड एंड फ्रॉम द वीनस ब्लड दे विल गो इन टू द टेरिगॉइड वीनस प्लक्सेज विद दिस कनेक्शन एंड फ्रॉम दिस टेरिगॉइड वीनस प्लक्सेज दे विल एंटर इन साइड द क्रेनियल कैविटी ठीक है अब ये डेंजरस एरिया क्यों हुआ बिकॉज मैंने आपको ये बताया था कि जब भी आप दो चीजों के डेंजरस पार्ट हमने पढ़े वन इज द डेंजरस लेयर ऑफ स्केल्प नाउ डेंजरस लेयर ऑफ स्केल्प इज द फोर्थ लेयर नाउ टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इज द डेंजरस एरिया ऑफ फेस दैट इज द लोअर नोज एंड अपर लिप दोनों ही केस में एक चीज कॉमन है कि डेंजरस का मतलब यह हुआ कि अल्टीमेटली हमारा जो इंफेक्शन है दैट इज आउटसाइड द क्रेनियल कैविटी इज नाउ इनसाइड द क्रेनियल कैविटी अगर इंफेक्शन किसी भी रीजन से क्रेनियल कैविटी के अंदर जा रहा है फ्रॉम द साइड दैट्स वाई दैट साइड और द पेरेंटल साइड फ्रॉम वेयर द इंफेक्शन इज कमिंग इज नोन एज डेंजरस एरिया ठीक है और ये इंफेक्शन गया किसके थ्रू From the dangerous layer of scalp, the infection enters through the imagery vein, and again here, from this pterygoid venous plexus, the uh, infection is entering into the cranial cavity with the help of these imagery veins. Clear? So imagery veins' ka role is very important, hai, and you have to remember this thing that what is the pathway of this. रिट्रोग्रेड इंफेक्शन एंड कैवरनस साइनस जो होता है इस कैवरनस साइनस की जो वॉल है इस वॉल में होती है क्रेनियल लॉ जो मेनली आपके ऑर्बिट में जाती है सो वेन विल डिस्कस द कैवरनस साइनस यू विल सी दैट देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ नर्व विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द वॉल ऑफ कैवरनस साइनस एंड कैवरनस साइनस ऑल्सो एक्सटेंड इन टू द ऑर्बिट तो अगर इस एरिया के थ्रू यहां पे जो कैवर्नस साइनस है उसमें थ्रोम्बोसिस हो गया या इन्फेक्शन हो गया तो अल्टीमेटली व्हाट विल हैपन दैट पेशेंट इज हैविंग द कंप्लेंट रिलेटेड टू द आईबॉल रिलेटेड टू द विजन सो व्हाई दिस विल हैपन बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली द इन्फेक्शन इज रीचिंग हेयर इन द कैवर्नस साइनस विच इज हैविंग द मैनी मोर क्रेनियल नाउस इन इट्स वॉल ठीक है so at the end of this class we should know that what is the dangerous area of face why it is known as dangerous area and what is the pathway of retrograde infection so this is all for today's class thank you